Hey there once again everyone and good Tuesday evening to you. It is April the 26th and this is Weather for Weather Geeks. All right. The big changes have started and they'll really kick in on Wednesday. I'm not going to be Mr. Popularity with the kind of forecast we have coming up on Wednesday, but uh, we'll get through it and better things are li will lie ahead, I should say, as we head towards the end of the week and into the weekend. But yeah, what a change. 81 in a lot of places at the top of the hour on on uh, Monday. We actually got to 83 in between the top of the hour observations on Monday, and then today we struggled to get out of the 40s most of the day. We got into the lower 50s in some spots today, but it was a dramatic change, and uh, as we've been talking about, tomorrow will be even worse with temperatures mostly in the 30s for our Wednesday. All right, it's that time of the year. It can do just about anything at this time of the year. We're going to have days in the 80s. We're going to have a hard freeze. We're going to have frost, and we're going to be talking more about frosts and freezes as the week progresses and the sky clears out. Now, when we look at uh, the record books, the date of the last 32 degree reading at the Youngstown Warren Airport for the spring season. Kind of a, a variety here. Last year, May the 6th, uh, some years we've had our last 32 in April, but the 30 year average is actually right on par with where we were last year. May the 6th is that 30 year average. So this is why we caution everyone not to plant too much until we get a little bit deeper into May because you know we can see some pretty cold temperatures at night. Uh, sometimes into that second and third week of May. This is the 30-year average, but you know, 2015 May 23rd, 2013 May 25th, we had a we had a 32-degree reading. So, yeah, it can uh, it can get pretty cold still, even though the nights are getting pretty short here in late April. For tonight, a frost advisory is out for a lot of eastern Ohio, Panhandle of West Virginia, southwestern PA. This includes in our TV viewing area, Columbiana County. Now, I'm not real concerned about real heavy frost in most of the area tonight. It's not going to be a hard freeze situation. I think clouds are going to prevent the frost threat in most of Northeast Ohio and Northwest PA. Better chance for some clearing once you're down towards Route 30 and points south. And uh, with a clear sky for a lot of the night, freeze warnings are out for uh, North Central and Northwest Ohio. I would expect us to be under, be under freeze warnings uh, tomorrow night. Why does the National Weather Service issue these products now instead of a few weeks ago? Well, uh, through some collaboration amongst the uh, the offices and looking back at historical records, of course, as well, and also you know taking into account some recent weather, uh, it has been determined that the growing season, uh, for all intents and purposes, has begun. Uh, especially last weekend when we got into the 80s, a lot of people you know went out and did some summertime things like buy hanging baskets and that sort of thing. And so a frost and a freeze is a significant event now um, because of the recent weather we've had. And so that's why they're, they're starting to issue these products. Uh, we will see uh, these products uh, discontinued at some point when the frost and freeze threat is done for the season. And then uh, they may issue these uh, from time to time, of course, as we get into the fall season. So yeah, Columbiana County tonight, uh, our only local county in a fr uh, frost advisory, better chance for widespread frost and freeze conditions tomorrow night, heading into Thursday morning, and then Thursday night into Friday morning, and maybe even some patchy frost Friday night into Saturday morning, but the coldest night overall probably tomorrow night into Thursday morning. All right, we have some clouds overhead this evening. Now, rotating around a trough of low pressure, uh, snowflakes and raindrops up to, up to our north. I think as we head into the night tonight, uh, we're going to see a sprinkle, maybe a flurry uh, here and there. I don't think it'll be a lot of precipitation overnight. Now, as we get into the daylight hours tomorrow, this disturbance continues rotating through. You could <clears throat> depict a cold front on the surface weather map tomorrow. And um, yeah, nasty day tomorrow. Now it's not going to be real windy, but hey, it's late April. It's going to be in the 30s for a lot of the day. Um, flurry, sprinkle here and there. Yeah, you bet. And I suspect these will be the last snowflakes of the uh, seasons uh, th this season. I'm not going to guarantee that yet, but I suspect that is the case. I've gotten a few comments on social media from people claiming I've said that a few times uh, this spring, and I absolutely have not. Um, as evidenced by last year when we had snow on May the 9th. We've had snow May, May 9th for two years in a row. I would not uh, say we're done with snow for the season as early as, you know, early to, to mid-April. Uh, that's That would be pretty foolish. I've been doing this a long time and and know that can we, we can indeed uh, see some snowflakes in late April and even into early May. But that being said, looking ahead to the future weather patterns as we go into the final stretch of April, into that first week or so of May, I don't see a lot of opportunities for snowflakes during that first uh, 
week to 10 days of May. And then once we get beyond the first week to 10 days of May, it gets exceptionally hard to see snowflakes around here, even though it's not unheard of through about May 16th. Um, it is very, very unusual. So all that being said, not going to guarantee it yet, but I, I think I, I suspect that these will be some of the last snowflakes we'll see of the season tomorrow. Snow flurries and sprinkles into the afternoon. The sky clears tomorrow night. That leads to the cold night tomorrow night with temperatures in the 20s. Bright and sunny all day on Thursday. Also plenty of sunshine in store for Friday. A few fair weather clouds might mix in. But yeah, pretty nice uh, end to the week. Temperatures will start to moderate and that trend will continue into early next week. This is the 8 to 14 day outlook today issued by the Climate Prediction Center. Uh, so this covers May 4th through the 10th. And while it does not look like the kind of pattern that's going to produce 80 degree days like we just had a few days ago, um, this is also not an exceptionally chilly pattern. And overall, the May trends have, have been a little less chilly in recent runs of our modeling compared to about the same time last week. Last week on the modeling, uh, we saw some pretty cold solutions being proposed by some of our uh, medium range models. The newest runs of some of the medium and long range models, you know, they're not warm per se, but they're also not as cool looking as what we saw last week. So I don't think May is going to go into the record books as a, uh, a strangely warm May, but it also probably is not going to go into the uh, record books as a, uh, a real chilly one either. We'll do an update on that May forecast officially at the end of this week and heading into early next week, of course. In the meantime, thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight, and I'll see you back here on Wednesday.